Hey, what's up guys? This is Dave from Kirk's Motorsports. We'll be showing you how to do our tail light overlay kit on the Jeep Grand Cherokee. Uh, this kit is going to be pre-cut and it's going to follow this upper line. Basically that inner bar is what's going to get blocked out. So you're going to have black all around the outside and the inside is going to be tinted. So I'm going to start on the quarter panel light. Um, we've already cleaned this. You just want to make sure that you do get behind the lamp a little bit because the film will actually tuck up underneath. You're going to have your pre-cut sheet. You're going to want to peel it from the sheet and start your alignment here where the where you can see the differentiation between what this bar is that's lit up all night long and the actual just reflective part of the light. So once you get that in the right position, you don't wanna keep some tension on this film and just line it all the way down the light. Then you're gonna do the same thing on the bottom. You don't want to pull this material because it will stretch. So once you have it aligned, you're gonna work the material towards the outside of the lamp. We're gonna do that with just our fingertips. This is an air release film, so the air escapes from behind the material just due to the adhesive that's used on this type of material. Depending on your climate, you might have to heat it more or less. It's about 65 degrees here right now, so the film's pretty pliable. Um, in the colder climates, you will notice that this is a little bit stiffer. And if that's the case, you're gonna wanna go ahead and add heat to get it to do what you want it to do. We will have to heat this upper section for sure. If you do happen to make a mistake, we get a crease, you can pull it back up and then work it back down again. Even when you're aligning it, it as you saw on the upper portion, I didn't have it exactly where it needed to be, so I pulled it back up. You just want to make sure that you're not overstretching the film when you pull it up, because it is fairly thin. So once we got this pretty worked down on this flat surface, we're going to go ahead and heat this upper side a little bit and then start to work this back a little bit as well. And when you heat it, you could either use a heat gun or a hair dryer. Um, either way, you're gonna have the same effect. Heat gun, maybe 200 degrees or so. You don't wanna keep the gun on it for too long because you will melt the material. But just go back and forth real quick just to give it a little bit more pliable nature. And we're just going to use our thumb to gradually work the material up. I 
I choose to use my thumb over a squeegee because if you are using a squeegee to push that material off, chances are you might catch it. And if you catch it, then you're sort of out of luck on that piece. So with your thumb or fingertip, index finger, you'll be able to feel the material a little bit better and you'll have the ability to feel what it's doing as opposed to just relying on that squeegee. So for the next step, we are gonna use the squeegee. Uh, we've gotten this pushed up as far as we can now with our fingertips. And now we just wanna tuck that upper edge behind the light. I'm just working the material around the light all the way around and I'm going to do the bottom edge as well. So once that's set, we want to go over to the edge in between the two lamps. Just heat it a little bit. And you can go ahead and just tuck that in. Same for the bottom. All right, so this is step one. You can sort of tell the difference between this lamp and this lamp now. Um, this is the gloss black. This is gonna match probably, if your Jeep has this lower gloss trim from factory, this is gonna match the best. Uh, we do have this available in a couple other colors, so it is a little customizable, but the gloss black tends to be the best seller. So now we're gonna move on to this lamp. So this inner tail lamp is applied basically in the same fashion where you're trying to keep it on this line, that bar uh, break in the tail lamp. Um, we're gonna start this one by, in right here, aligning it, and then I'll see how I'm gonna work it from there. <laughs> so just go ahead and peel it from the back of material. So once you got that aligned, you're going to start to work this direction towards the other tail lamp. And one thing that I have noticed about these Jeeps is these lights don't always line up correctly. Um, so when you're aligning this overlay, I'd say try to match it up with the one from the other lamp. So that way you don't have like an offset <laughs> overlay. All right, now we get that tech down a little bit and I'm just gonna work across the bottom as well.
Same thing on the bottom, you want to make sure those two overlays are going to line up. Once you have it in position, you can start to work down, working outwards now. I'm gonna to have to heat this section a little bit to get the seat right. And you're gonna have this little ear flap that's gonna tuck that way to cover that portion of the red. Then we're actually gonna grab a squeegee and tuck that last little bit up in between where the body panel is and the actual tail lamp. So let me grab the heat gun. I'm going to hit this area real quick with some heat to get that to lay a little bit better. Now we're just going to tuck the material around the entire lamp like we did on the quarter panel. And for this you'll use a squeegee. Then you also want to hit the ends and tuck those over. Really so the last step is going to be doing the inner tint and I'll show you that next. So the last step is to do the inner tint section and you basically just want to keep this centered in between those two bars all the way down. This is an air release film as well, so it's applied dry just like the outers were. I'm going to start on the quarter. And work our way towards the tailgate. So once you have that tacked down to where you want it to be at, um, you're gonna go ahead and start to heat this. Make sure it looks right in the back here.
So do you get a problem area? Like I just got there. If you, you could pull up the film, reheat it to work out any any creases that you might have accidentally put on the film, you know, like I just did there. Now that the film is applied, you're gonna only have to make one cut that's to the center section. Just trim right down in between the two lamps. Heat that area. Then grab your squeegee, just press it into place. So that's the tail lamp kit. This is the dark smoke inner with the gloss black outer. If you're, if you're ordering this off of our website, there's a link below this uh, description, video description. Uh, this is a revised kit. So if you're ordering from January 10th onward, um, you'll be getting this new revised kit. Um, the only difference between this and the old kit that we had was you would have to do some additional trimming around the edge. So based off of some of the feedback that we had, people didn't like that. So we decided to remaster the kit a little bit to give you something that essentially the only thing you're gonna have to trim is this lamp section in the center. Um, and I keep those together so that you'll be able to still keep them lined up uh, when I'm flying. So if you have any questions, uh, drop us a line, make sure to like and subscribe. And I have some other stuff for this vehicle as well. I'm gonna be doing some more videos here shortly. So uh, take a look at those other videos as well. Thanks for watching.